Now to the major Supreme Court rulings expected as early as this morning. They'll have a big impact on the election involving Donald Trump, January 6th, and abortion rights. Our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, is at the Supreme Court. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Rebecca. And then there were 12, 12 cases left for the justices to decide, including some of the biggest cases of the year. There's that major abortion case out of Idaho, which pits that state's ban on abortions unless necessary to prevent death against a federal law that says that any patient who comes into an emergency room must get emergency care, even in those rare and tragic instances when that care might mean the termination of a pregnancy. This is the first major abortion case the court has taken since it overturned Roe versus Wade two years ago. And then there's a case brought by a man who joined the mob that attacked the Capitol on January 6, and he says that he and hundreds of other defendants have been improperly charged with obstruction of an official proceeding because they argue that law was originally passed by Congress to deal with business and financial crimes. And then the biggest case of the year, Donald Trump's claim that he is absolutely immune from criminal prosecution for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election, including January 6th, because Trump argues presidents cannot be prosecuted for actions they took while in office. And he says what he did were official actions. So 12 cases left. The justices are expected to wrap up their work by Friday. Lindsay? All right, a Lindsay. lot of impact there. Still on the line. Terry Moran for us. Thank you.